It is a very special time at Maine West High School Gymnasium in Des Plaines, Illinois. For it is the time for the final trial of the U.S. men's Olympic gymnastics team. And even dozen of the very best men gymnasts coming here as winners from elimination trials in Berkeley, California. A capacity crowd on hand to greet them and watch them. Compulsory competition concluded last night. The optionals for the final competition will take place tonight. And only seven of these young gymnasts will win a precious spot on the U.S. Olympic team. Hello, I'm Keith Jackson. And this is the platform where all of these contestants in the U.S. Men's Olympics gymnastics trials want to be right here because this is where the winners will stand and the overall champion will stand on top. The overall champion, of course, the result of total points accumulated out of the six areas of competition. The floor exercise, the pommel horse, still rings, vaulting, parallel bars, and the high bar or the horizontal bar. Let's reflect back now and watch the top performance in floor exercise. John Crosby, 21-year-old, 5'5", 125-pound senior, Dean's List, English major from Southern Connecticut College. John came into this sport as a tumbler, and I think we'll see that it pays off, especially in this event. He mounts with a, with a super double back somersault and really nails it. This is exactly the kind of risk that John must take if he wants to get anywhere in international competition. That'll wake up judges all over the world, wouldn't it, Gordy? You betcha. And I think that John's maybe the best chance we have for international uh, uh, success. John actually excels in this for uh, kind of an unusual reason. In his high school days, his school had no apparatus. They had the floor exercise mat, and that was it. And so consequently, as he kept himself in shape, he did a great deal of work in floor exercise, and he has become outstanding. And here is that strength move. Makes it so smooth. He's wearing short pants, in contrast to the other fellows who are wearing the long trousers. Does he have the choice? Yes, this is his option, and I think he feels that he has outstanding leg form, and it's to his advantage to wear short pants, and I think I'm inclined to agree with him. In this event, John really makes everything look easy, and that's how it has to go. Now, he's winding up for his dismount. There's a round off. And a double twisting back somersault, super difficulty, and a nice finish. So that's a look at the top performance in the floor exercise, John Crosby, who scored a 9.7. We'll look at two. First, let's have a look at Jim Ivasek, a junior at the University of New Mexico. Well, Jim is obviously having some problems, and this is indicated by the bent legs and the, uh, the uh, sort of out-of-balance condition. He's got it back under control now, but he's still swinging in a, a very low plane. His feet are under the upper level of the, of the side horse. Uh, in order to score, he's got to get his hips away from his hands. He's got to stretch his body out. Now he's breaking into his scissors work, and this is part of the requirement for this event. Now notice that his hips stay very close to his hands, and they don't get much elevation above the horse. But let me ask you this, Gordy. Let's say that a young man knows this is not a strong event. Is it not better to be stock and stay secure? Absolutely. He did finish the work, and that's important. Jim Ivasek, 8.9. Now for contrast, a look at Steve Hugg on the pommel horse. Now he starts out working behind his back right off the bat and this is an international characteristic. There he's behind his back again. He's taking the risk that he must take if he wants to score in the Olympic Games. Immediately I think we can see too that he's working higher than Ivasek. You're right Keith. He gets stretched out, he gets his hips away from his hands and he keeps a higher plane. Now watch here as he goes into the scissors. Yes, see how his hips are pushing way out above the pommel. Mm -hmm. Now there, there's a little bump right there. Does that, is that going to take away from you? No, it's an incidental break. Uh, the, the leg form might deduct, but not the brushing of the horse. So Steve Hug scoring 9.5 in the pommel horse, and he leads in overall points. And I thought it was an outstanding performance. Steve Hugg, who scored a 